One thing that I absolutely hate about joining Minecraft servers is waiting for the resource pack to load. But now, if you want to have custom models on your server without a resource pack, it's possible with the plugin Advanced Models. This new plugin allows you to easily make models in Blockbench, then see them inside of Minecraft. So in this video, I'll show you how to use Advanced Models and make your own models. Then I'll give my thoughts on the plugin at the end of the video. This is a premium plugin, so you will need to purchase it from Spigot or the Advanced Plugins website. I was given a free license for making this this video, but all thoughts will be my own. All right, well, let's get crafting. So the first thing that you will need to do is download advanced models so you can get it here on Spigot or on advancedplugins.net. So I'm going to get it here on Spigot. And then you'll want to head into your server, go into your file manager, go into your plugins folder. And then in here, you'll just want to go ahead and drag and drop the jar file. There we go. So now we have advanced models and we can go ahead and start or restart our server. One eternity later. All right. So our server has started up and we can see right here that we need to download the, the default models. You technically don't have to, but why not? It's free models, right? So also if we go ahead and type PL, we can see we have advanced models. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this little link and then it will send us here and we see that there's a default models pack and there's a Christmas models pack. This one's paid, but if, if you like Christmas, then you can get the Christmas models, but we can just go here. Then we can go ahead and download now, head back. Then we want to go into our files, go into our plugins folder, and we can see that there's a new advanced models folder right here. So that's, that's lovely. We can go inside of here and then you'll just want to go ahead and drag your default models pack in. And then we can just go ahead and unarchive that. And then we can see now we have all these different things. So let's just go ahead and join the server quickly. All right, so once we are in game, we will want to go ahead and type slash advanced models reload. All right, so now we can go ahead and type slash advanced models list to see all of the different models we have and then list two, list three and so on and so forth. So we can see that we already have like a ton of different models. So let's just go ahead and give ourselves a fridge. So advanced models give crafted croy fridge and then the amount we'll just give myself one so here we go we have a kitchen fridge it looks like an iron door remember that we are not using a resource pack so obviously we can't have like a certain icon for it. it's just going to look like a vanilla item but then we place it down and it looks like this so this is pretty cool it's a little like refrigerator and then we can see that there are like like barriers in there kind of so if we break the barriers, then we get our kitchen fridge back. So that's pretty cool. And then we can place it again and just, just break it and keep doing that forever. But then we can see all of our different models with slash advanced models menu. So here we go. We have everything. My chest look weird because it's like the day after Christmas. So they haven't updated them yet. But here we go. We have a TV. We have enchants. We have a laptop. We have all the different kitchen stuff. So you can just like left click these to grab them. So let's go ahead and place some of these down. So here we go, we have a little TV. It just looks like netherite blocks because we're not adding any textures to the game. So we have to use vanilla textures. And then here we go, we have a custom enchants display. So this is for the advanced enchants plugin. So that's by the same author. So when we try to click it, it's using the enchanter command, which is a command from advanced enchants. And then here we go, we have a little laptop. So, so that's pretty cool. That's, that's what I spend all my day on. And then we have this, so it's a little, what was this small open kitchen cabinet cool and then we got a stove really neat and then we got a kitchen table and we got a kitchen chair so yeah we got lots of cool little furniture that you can add to your server without a resource pack there's also another command the advanced models spawn and then we'll just do a fridge and there we go it spawns in a fridge but it looks kind of weird because of like how i was facing so I don't really like this command very much because it makes it look really weird. Okay, I'm going to try it without looking that way. There we go, now it looks good. So if, if you're like facing, it, it, it spawns it depending on where you're looking at, I guess. So now you're probably wondering like, how the heck do I make my own models crafted, Croy? Well, that's what we're going to look at next. Now to make our own models, you will need to have Blockbench. You can also use it in the web, but I like the actual application of it. So I'll leave like a link to download in the description. You'll just want to go ahead and click on generic model, create new model, and then you can call this like whatever you want. We'll just go ahead and call this. We'll make like since it's the day after Christmas, Christmas tree. 
or we could install the Christmas add-on, but I'm going to make my own Christmas tree. And we'll just Christmas tree. There we go, confirm. So if you've never made something in Blockbench before, it's really simple. You just add little cubes and then these make up everything. So to make our Christmas tree, we're just going to go ahead and resize this up a little bit. And then how this works is you have these different cubes. So like right here, it's just called cube. This is like, you need to change this to the certain vanilla texture. So we'll want like spruce underscore log. There you go. So it's not going to update it in here to look like a spruce log, but in game it will. So that's basically how this works. And then well, let's just go ahead and add another cube and then move it like right here. And then we can resize it. Make it kind of big like that and then we'll call this one we will call this we'll use oak leaves there we go so that that looks pretty nice now let's make that maybe just a little bit taller and then we're going to just go ahead and copy that and then we will move it up and then we will resize it a little bit yeah, that looks good. And I'm just going to keep doing that. All right, there we go. I think this is done. So we have our little base and then we have all of our different leaves on our Christmas tree. Let's go ahead and maybe add a little ornament so we can make this like, let's see, where the heck is this? Right here, we'll, we'll add a little ornament and we'll make it green or red concrete. There we go. So, so we have a little ornament on the side and then maybe we can even add a little star to it as well. So, and then we'll obviously stars are, are golden. So gold underscore block. There we go, my, my Christmas tree is done, so now I just need to go ahead and save it. We just need to use it as the .bb model format. You don't need to like use any of them. So now to actually add it to advanced models, what we need to do is we can like look at one of these and see like, oh hey, there's the BB model in here, and then you have this model.yml. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new directory and we'll call it Christmas underscore tree. So then inside of here, I will put my .bb model. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll just like grab the, the model.yml for one of these. There we go. So then inside of this file, we're just going to, we, we don't want it to be cosmetic. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then the name of it is going to be Christmas tree. The author obviously crafted Croy. And then the description, we can set whatever we want here. So we'll just say like, Merry Christmas. I'm still in the Christmas spirit, okay? And then properties. So this is like the item that's going to be shown in game. So we're going to make that like a um, spruce sapling. And then the material. So these are like, if you want to like not configure it in game. So we don't need to worry about this. But if we made one of these like named material inside of Blockbench, so let's see. So like if one of these was named material, then right here you can like specify which material it would be in game. So if you want to like make multiple variations of it, that's what that's for. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that and then we can save that. And then you also want to make sure that this is the same name as your folder right here. So Christmas underscore tree, Christmas underscore tree. So we are all good. Now we can go ahead, go back in game, type slash advanced models, reload, and then advanced models give crafted croy Christmas underscore tree one. Here we go, we have our Christmas tree. So now if I place it down, we have our little Christmas tree that I configured. So really simple way to just make simple models for your server. So that's really cool. And then as we can see, we don't have barriers for this. So if we actually wanted barriers, you can go into like one of these other models, like the, the enchants thing had it. So 
right here we can set collisions to true and then you can also change like these thresholds and stuff so i'm just going to copy all of this and then go into my christmas tree and then we'll just paste that in right there and now we need to reload the plugin again and give myself a new one and now it has like the barriers so there you go but yeah I, I like i like these i like my christmas trees that i made they're they're nice they're they're really good i actually did something with my life so you can also make like different cosmetics with this plugin like we looked at with the backpack so if we go ahead and do slash advanced models give crafted croy backpack one here we, it's like a bundle so you can put things in it i think yep there, there's stuff in it there's another thing in it and then if we right click it now we have a little backpack so that's pretty cool take that items adder we don't need you we have we have our own backpacks so so that's cool and then if you want to get rid of it because like there's there's no way to take it off you just shift twice and then it puts it back in your inventory but i think it took my items so so that's not good <laughs> and then there's also a top hat that you can use so top underscore hat one and then it looks like another right helmet, but if I right click it, it adds a little top hat on my head. And then to remove it, just shift twice. So you can still like do cosmetics even if you don't have a resource pack. So I think that's really cool. So right here we have the wiki. So you can see that there are some other places that you can download it. So I, I was wrong. Sorry about that. But yeah, you can get it on other places too. And then right here we have some other stuff like different commands and permissions. We already talked about this a little bit. And then right here, this is more about the collisions and stuff so that's fun and then right here we got different model parameters to basically like customize different things so you can have like beds with different colors instead of just like one different one color and then you can also add different interactions to your models as well so then you can also see that there are some planned features that are in the works so that's great okay so here's the part of the video where i give my thoughts on the plugin so first of all i have to admit that i really like the concept of this plugin it pushes the limits of minecraft and it works very well it's also pretty easy to understand and configure in my opinion i was able to learn it in less than 30 minutes on my stream but it took me a while to understand items adder now i think the main drawback to this plugin is that it doesn't work with geyser mc I feel like most servers these days, probably like 90% of servers have geyser support. This may be possible in the future, but I can't guarantee it, however. So I guess if you don't run geyser, then this plugin would work great for you. Otherwise, you could still have it and use it to hide secrets around that only Java players can see. Another thing I hope to see is community support and add-ons. This plugin is relatively new, so hopefully model makers will start making packs for it. Yes, you can make your own models, but sometimes I'd rather just purchase models than spend a bunch of my time making my own well what do you think of advanced models let me know in the comments or feel free to leave your favorite hate comment if you need help with this plugin you can join my discord server or the advanced plugin server as well make sure to join both of my minecraft servers because i said so and i'm a famous youtuber so you need to do what i say all right well it has been real but i have to go get laid now yeah we all know that's a lie well happy crafting and i will see you on the other side peace out